We begin with breaking news in Ontario, where a longtime figure in both provincial and federal politics has died. Bill Davis spent more than a decade as Premier of Ontario. He also played a big role on the national stage during the national unity crisis of the 1980s and the repatriation of the Constitution. In a statement, Davis's family says he died this morning of natural causes surrounded by loved ones in his hometown of Brampton. He was 92 years old. The CBC's Kelly Ewan has this look back at his remarkable life in politics. One of Bill Davis's early acts as premier, canceling Toronto's Spadina Expressway, shaped a city. Save our cities for people rather than sell out to the automobile. One of his final acts as premier, extending full funding to Catholic schools, shaped generations of students. To establish a full range of elementary and secondary education. But in between those acts, Bill Davis was better known for his calm, deliberate, even cautious style as premier. He often said in running the province, bland works. I try to look at it as, as 13 years of, of good government, not without the odd mistake, which you won't get me to acknowledge here today. William Grenville Davis was born in Toronto in 1929. He studied at U of T. He went into law like his father. In 1959, when he was just 29, he was elected to the Ontario Legislature in the riding of Peel, now Brampton. He remarried after his wife and mother of his four children died. In 1962, he was appointed Education Minister, tasked with expanding Ontario's college and university system while cutting back the number of school boards. When Premier John Robarts announced his retirement, Davis ran to replace him. Davis is the man for me. It was a tight race. In 1971, he won the leadership of the Ontario Progressive Conservative Party on the fourth ballot by just 44 votes. His team of strategists and advisors, known as the Big Blue Machine, helped steer him to victory in four straight elections and navigate six years of a minority legislature. New rejetons complètement. Davis also had a profile on the national stage during constitutional talks and when he spoke out for national unity during the Quebec referendum. I'm doing it for myself, my children and my grandchildren. I'm sorry if I have sounded a shade emotional, uh, but for me, Canada is worth being emotional about. In 1984, when many thought he'd be gearing up for a fifth election victory, he shocked many, announcing plans to step down. This is not the end of an era in Ontario politics. But a year later, his party's 42-year stretch of power at Queen's Park would come to an end. Davis went on to join a Toronto law firm, but he could never leave the world of politics behind. He advised many politicians over the years, including Toronto Mayor John Tory, who worked for Davis in the early 80s. His name graces the main courthouse in his Brampton hometown. His many awards and honors he received with his self-deprecating style. I want to thank all of you for coming. I'm not sure why you're here. I... A sense of humor he used to sum up his time in office. I'm sure that when historians write of this period of history to the extent that 13 years will find its way into the history books of uh, Canada, I just hope that some author gives it more than two paragraphs. Kelda Yoon, CBC News, Toronto. The Davis family has issued a statement on his passing. Here is what it says. It is with immense sadness and deep gratitude for his remarkable life as a husband, father, brother, grandfather of 12 and great-grandfather of three that we announced the passing in his beloved hometown of Brampton the morning of August 8, 2021 of the Honourable William G. Davis, the 18th Premier of Ontario. After spending much family time in his favourite of all places, his cottage in Georgia, in Bay. He died of natural causes at home in Brampton, surrounded by members of his family. He was 92 years young. 
Joining us now with more on the legacy of Bill Davis is Queen's Park Bureau Chief for the Toronto Star, Robert Benzie, joining us from Port Sydney, Ontario. Thanks so much for being here on a Sunday with this breaking news today. A man who will have a ripple effect in terms of his impact, not only in the province of Ontario, but federally, as we just heard from Kelda Ewan. My first question to you, he called him, him his reign bland, but it's so much more than that, more complicated, isn't it? What do you think, Bill? Davis will be known for? Well, Jennifer, Bill Davis was a titanic figure in Ontario politics. Uh, he was the Premier of Ontario on my first day of kindergarten, and he was the Premier of Ontario on my first day of university. So he mm -hmm. was a huge uh, figure in my lo own life and um, uh, politically. But I think his masterful uh, political strategy, he was a masterful political strategist because he wasn't in your grill, he wasn't in your face, but he was always behind the scenes making sure that he got what he wanted, even in minority parliaments. And he had six years of minority uh, government at Queen's Park, which is no easy trick to navigate. He managed to work very closely with uh, the New Democrats of, of um, uh, um, uh, Stephen Lewis at, at the time. He uh, so that's why Ontario had a lot of progressive things like rent control that came in because of him. The, the killing of the Spadina Expressway in 1971, when he first became Conservative leader, uh, was arguably a thing that saved the downtown core of Toronto. The annex and other neighborhoods wouldn't exist to this day uh, if it wasn't for him stopping for th that expressway. So that he was a progressive in that sense. So he could have Jane Jacobs on the one hand uh, hailing him for doing things like that, and then the other hand you could have people on Bay Street. Street saying, you know, good for you for, 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 you know, keeping Ontario open for business, so to speak. But he was a red Tory uh, in a class, in the classic sense of, of that, Jennifer. He uh, was as well regarded by the liberals at Queen's Park in, you know, in whether, whether it was David Peterson or Dalton McGinty or Kathleen Wynne, as he is by progressive conservatives like Doug Ford or, 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 or Tim Hudak before him. Uh, or Mike Harris or Ernie Eves. It's it's, it's an interesting uh, that he was able to straddle the center, and he was he was a master at being moderate. So his his uh, famous quip about bland works. He was right. He didn't offend anyone, but that didn't mean that he was anyone's patsy either. He did court controversy, of course, over his time, um, thinking of things like uh, bringing in full yep. funding for Roman Catholic schools in the province of Ontario, but also considered one of the fathers of the Ontario community college system. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was as uh, he was probably the most important education minister that Ontario's ever had back when the, the education minister handled colleges, universities and public schools. And so uh, under Premier Robarts, he he expedited and, and uh, the, the development of the community college system, which is thriving in this province, thanks largely to Mr. Davis. Uh, he created TV Ontario, the uh, Ontario Educational Communications Authority, and that's a, a, a thriving enterprise to this day. Uh, when Mike Harris was the premier and, and ruminated about about uh, ending the funding for TVO, uh, Mr. Davis made it very clear that that would be an unwise thing to do, and Mike Harris didn't do it because nobody wanted to raise the ire of William Grenville Davis. He was so well regarded by so many that it was not a, a prudent thing to do. Uh, when Dalton McGinty was the premier and became uh, uh, lost uh, majority status, became a minority uh, Premier, he uh, the, one of the first things he did was have a meeting with Bill Davis. So Davis, I remember Davis coming to Queens Park to meet with uh, with McGinty in the Premier's office, and that was a signal to I think the Tories and the New Democrats, don't bother trying to defeat this government uh, willy nilly because this thing is we're going to make this work. Because Davis gave them the imprimatur of uh, of legitimacy, I guess you could say, and he's he was one of those figures. Everybody had to kiss the ring with, with William Grenville Davis, whether you were a, a Tory or a liberal. Uh, if you wanted to be premier, you had to, you had to have a rapport with him. Robert, there is a generation of Ontarians, indeed of Canadians, who will be watching and not know, and be Googling the name Bill Davis, perhaps for the first time, and listening to you. So to perhaps put into context this period of time in Ontario in which he dominated as premier, how would you describe it? I, I mean, it was a, in some ways it was a quiet time, but it was also a boom time in Ontario. And I think, you know, for a lot of people who may not know the name Bill Davis today, they should, if, if they are enjoying their charter rights in Canada, and as we all are, it's thanks largely to 
people like him. He worked very closely with Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Yes, the current prime minister's father uh, was worked very closely with Premier Davis uh, in repatriating the Constitution in, 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 in 1982. And the Charter of Rights and Freedoms was an essential part of that exercise. And Mr. Davis worked very hard to ensure that that passed. And he gave the, the, the liberal prime minister legitimacy with conservatives across the country. And that was a very important thing. Um, he was, he would have, I guess he would have liked to have been described as a national man in the sense that he was able to put Ontario's parochial interests aside for the greater good of the country. And I think that's something that all Ontario premiers try to do, but I don't, I'm not, not sure that any is as successful as Mr. Davis was. And a final thought, when it comes to legacy, one just has to look at some of the provincial and indeed federal leaders um, whom he has impacted over the years, and many of whom are still serving. We think of uh, Toronto Mayor John Tory, who says he was instrumental at one point as his boss, uh, Christine yeah. Elliott, Cabinet Minister in Ontario, Patrick Brown, the Mayor of Brampton, but, but known to be close friends with people like Bob Ray, as as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, when Bob Ray was the NDP premier of Ontario, he, he succeeded. He came five years after after Mr. Davis left office, but he still sought his counsel. The liberals uh, when Kathleen Wynne the, the, was running for the liberal leadership in 2013, uh, Linda Jeffrey, who was the, the mayor of Brampton, took her to uh, to meet William Davis at his home in Brampton. And that was uh, and that was a that was a that was a sign of how serious Kathleen Wynne was a politician and wanted to be she wanted his counsel. She wanted to 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 talk to him and learn from him. In Steve Pakin's uh, uh, authorized biography in 2016 of Mr. Davis, there's a lot of stories like that of people from across the political spectrum, whether they're New Democrats like Bob Ray, former New Democrats, or, uh, or uh, Stephen Lewis, and, uh, or liberals like Dalton McGuinty, Kathleen Wynne, and Tories like Patrick Brown and, and others. Who, there, uh, there are, you know, there's a lot of people who looked to Mr. Davis for his wisdom. Uh, in Brian Mulroney's uh, autobiography, uh, there's some really generous chapters on Davis and how important Davis was to uh, repatriating the Constitution and keeping Canada together. Because remember, in 1980, we had a, a, a 1980 referendum. Things looked pretty dicey for a little while there, and and he was he was making sure to to be a national man and making sure to 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 not do anything in Ontario that would cause problems in Quebec. You've given us a lot to think about in terms of legacy and impact of William Davis. Thank you so much for joining us, Robert, today. Robert Benzies, the Thank Queen's you, Park Bureau Chief for the Toronto Star. And we will have more on the passing of Bill Davis for you throughout the day.